I noticed uh, the the uh, route of the motorcade that there was a hard left in front of the uh, Texas Book Depository. I've drawn a sketch to show you why it's very easy to imagine that the shots were fired from behind and above. And I show the angle of uh, the cameraman's apruder off to the left. The shooter, presumably Oswald, was above and behind in the Texas Book Depository. I've shown Kennedy here uh, minus the uh, car and the other passengers just to show the alignment of his body to the shooter. The shooter was above looking at the rear uh, right side of the president. Um, and that brings up the question why I shoot uh, at the last moment as the uh, motorcade was leaving he could have shot at point one two three four but he waited until point five my opinion at this point without having examined it in detail is that um most shooters are nuts most shooters um, maybe they have associations with other nuts and maybe these nuts are somewhat instigated but um, I imagine that there are dozens, hundreds of nuts, I hope I'm not one, scattered all around not only the United States but the world who occasionally shoot the Pope or shoot Gerald Ford or, or shoot at Gerald Ford. A few years ago, it was very common to hear about communist defectors, even former members of the diplomatic corps or the military or the KGB defecting and coming to the United States where they were debriefed. Those KGB defectors, in my opinion, Yuri Bezmenov is legit. He said most of the activity of the department was to compile huge amounts of information on individuals who were then instrumentalized to influence public opinion. Publishers, writers, journalists, actors, educators, professors of political science, members of parliament, businessmen, most of these people were divided into two groups. Those who supported the policy of the Soviet regime were promoted to positions of power through the manipulation of public opinion and media. Those who refused the influence of communism in their country, their reputation was ruined. Those who supported the policy of the Soviet regime were, were promoted to positions of power. Publishers, writers, journalists, actors, educators, professors of political science, members of parliament, he said most of the activity of the department was to compile huge amounts of information on individuals who were then instrumentalized to influence public opinion. Which party currently controls Congress? Um, currently, like, I don't know, actually. A Republican. Uh, Republican. Republican. Republican to control Congress? Yeah. Probably Republican because the president is Republican. That's my honest answer. I think it's it's Republicans that control the now, I believe. The what, the Republican? Which political party currently controls Congress? <laughs> you know that? Uh, no. Do you know who Barney Frank is? Um no. How about Nancy Pelosi? No. 
<laughs> How about Harry Reid? I've heard that name, but I don't know who that is. What do you think of Barney Flynn? I have no idea who that is. Nancy Pelosi. Um, she's pretty cool. Uh, Harry <laughs> Reid? I don't know who that is. What do you think of uh, Barney Frank? I don't know him. I don't know who Barney Frank is. Uh, what do you think of Harry Reid? I don't really know Harry Reid. I don't know Barney Frank. What do you think of Nancy Pelosi? I only know the name. I don't know the name. What do you know about Harry Reid? Nothing. What do you think of Barney Frank? Who? Harry Reid. Don't know. Don't know that person. What, what do you think of Harry Reid? Who is Harry He said most of the activity of the department was to compile huge amounts of information on individuals who were then instrumentalized to influence public opinion. 